Hello everybody and a very warm welcome, especially to our younger people, to this another youth video from Larbert Baptist Church. Uh, because of the rather wet weather today, our outside broadcast has been cancelled. But not to worry, there's lots and lots of contributions from the young people and I hope there's uh, plenty for you to view and to enjoy. But this lockdown is getting to everybody. Here's a picture of even Katie's toys having to be confined. Uh, if you listen very carefully, you'll hear what they can say, actually. Oh, we really miss our friends at church. We wish we were back listening to Pastor Ken. We could just listen to him for hours and hours and hours. Oh, won't it be great when we get back into church? And then, what do other people think of lockdown? What about Lauren? Okay, Lauren. So, what is your favourite thing about lockdown so far? That um, we have a like giant swimming pool and we get splash and splash in it. Very good. What is your least favourite thing? That I can't get to see my friend and I can't get to play at school. And what do you miss most? Well, I miss Poppy the Pony I ride. I miss all my friends. And I miss all my family. Okay. And what would you change if you had to change anything? I'd probably change like going to ice cream shops and playing video games at Uncle G's. Very good. Say bye. Thanks, Lauren. Now we'll have a song from Caitlin and Fiona. Thanks, girls. Thank you. 
Thanks, Caitlin. Thanks, Fiona. That was great. Now, Lauren's been taking us through the Bible with some of her readings, and she's now arrived at the birth of Jesus. Mary, an angel came to Mary with some very important news. A saviour will come into the world, and God has chosen you. A baby will be born to you, a baby like no other. Mary trusted and obeyed and became Jesus' mother. Luke 1. There you go. Thanks, Lauren. A reminder that there's only 222 days to go to Christmas. And people are already celebrating. Just listen to this. Well, now there's a series of pictures. These are from Jessica's class, um, and they're all representations of the rainbow or the colours in the rainbow. You can see there that uh, all the colours of the rainbow are represented. Uh, the first one there is by Esther. Uh, I think the next one's by Hannah, yes. And there's an outdoor one from Emily and Neve as well. I was always taught in school to try and remember all the colours in the rainbow by reciting the little phrase, Richard of York gives battle in vain. And the first letter from each of those words uh, gives you the colours of the rainbow. I thought that was much too complicated, so um, I learnt it a different way. Roy G. Biv. Imagine there was somebody called Roy G. Biv. Uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. There you have it. You'll never forget them again. Now, uh, thanks again, girls. These are all great. I have more to say about the rainbow just now. Hello, everyone, especially the younger folk. Uh, look, just looking at all those uh, pictures, representations of the rainbow, it, it just reminded me uh, of what they stand for. Now, we all know that after the flood, uh, God said there would be a rainbow in the sky as a reminder of his promise never to destroy the world in that way ever again. And of course, when God makes a promise, he keeps a promise. And uh, that's what the rainbow reminds us of. Now, of course, God makes more than just one promise. He's made loads of promises throughout the Bible. And he keeps every one of them, especially that uh, wonderful promise that whosoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. Um, but you know, boys and girls, uh, and everyone, we make promises too, and, and we can make promises to God. Now, it's always good when we can keep a promise. Now, unfortunately, sometimes we promise ourselves to God to love him and to obey him and to do what he says. And very often we forget to follow through on that promise. So can I just encourage you all, if you have made a promise to God to serve him and to love him and to, to obey him, please keep that promise. It can be difficult at times. There's so much going on in the world. But if you've made a promise to anyone, especially to God, it's always a good idea to keep it. For those who haven't made any sort of a promise to God at all, well, it's not too late. Uh, we're told that God is waiting and willing that people come to him. He'll never turn anybody away. And if you come to him with a promise to love him and to serve him and to obey him, he'll take your promise and he would like you to keep your word. So think on these things, friends. Every time you see a rainbow in the sky, it's a reminder of God's promise to us 
And remember, we make promises to him as well. Keep those promises and he will bless you and he will honour you for it. Thanks. Now, just to conclude this video, to bring our time to a close, I'm going to call on Rona to give us a musical item. And uh, after this, well, I'd say cheerio and we look forward to seeing you again soon. OK, thanks again for all your help, all the young people for all the stuff they send in. Keep them coming. Thank you for everybody who's been listening. And uh, thank you for allowing me the privilege of just wrapping things up. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.